It's a problem in the Earth's coldest regions with serious implications for some of the planet's warmest. Satellite information shows ice sheets around the globe are shrinking faster than scientists had thought, and in some places are already in runaway melt mode. In parts of Antarctica, one recent study finds the ice sheets have been growing thinner by nearly 30 feet per year since 2003. Now NASA is taking a closer look. It's flying researchers over Antarctica in a plane outfitted with lasers and ground-penetrating radar to gain a better idea of how quickly the ice is thinning. We had instruments that will tell us uh, how thick the ice is. It gives us the bottom profile and the top profile. And from satellite radar observations, we have a measurement of velocity. So we're actually able to see the amount of ice that is lost from the continent in this region. The goal is to understand how warm ocean currents may be melting the ice from underneath, causing them to collapse and pulling them seaward. If those sheets go, far bigger ice masses on Antarctic bedrock also could melt into the sea. That could have dire consequences for coastal communities around the globe. In the Indian Ocean, the Maldives is made up of nearly 1,200 coral islands that average just seven feet above sea level. President Mohammed Nasheed has announced plans to buy a new homeland should rising sea levels inundate the country. This is a challenging situation and we want to see that everyone else is also um, occupied as much as we are and would like to see that people actually do something about it. If Maldives cannot be saved today, we do not feel that there is much of a chance for the rest of the world. Nasheed held an underwater cabinet meeting to draw attention to the problem Saturday. Meanwhile, NASA is planning more of the 11-hour Operation Ice Bridge flights, an effort to bridge any data gap once the current generation of satellites tracking the ice melt is phased out. Sophia Manos, The Associated Press.